Happy Sunday, cute people. Yes, it's Sunday, a really quiet day. So I figured I'd sit down, put on some makeup, try some of this stuff I'm always hauling, and yeah, just have fun. So I'm not going to try to talk an awful lot because I can talk an awful lot and the video will be really long. But I just want to share some things with you, have some fun with you, talk to you and all that stuff. So I'm just looking at all the stuff I have here um, that I want to use a lot of it is things that i've always used so you may have seen it before but one thing i do want to mention to you is this here if you have red eyes like me and you're tired of them always being red or you want them to be white for particular occasions lumify by Bosch and loam is your jam this stuff right here i've never paid attention to how long it keeps my eyes white but it does because my eyes are white right now and if you look at previous videos, I may have on glasses, but you still can see my eyes are red. So I don't use it all the time. I only use it on um, special occasions. <laughs> but this is a sample bottle and you can see it's really small. I got this from Pinch Me, but it works. So try it out. And then I'm going to use the Hydrate and Boosted drops oh, let me show it to you i've used this before like i mentioned um before i think i did anyway um i really don't see much of anything about these that i really need to um continue to use it but i do because i have it um my skin is dry so i like to have my face ultrally hydrated this is something that i wanted to try for the longest time. I hold this so long ago and never used it. This is the Elf Polis Putty Primer and I believe I have Universal Sheer. Okay. And I think I told you guys too that placing makeup on my face is not very easy. So I have a mirror with the magnifier here. I have contacts on because they do help me. Um, and I have a magnifier to help me read some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I had it a long time and I've never used it. So, I'm just going to use it today. I'm just going to put a little bit on my face because today, like I mentioned, it's Sunday. I don't really have any plans, but I will say... that this makeup is going to be on for a while whatever it is i do today so and i got it in the color cappuccino which is a shade that i have other um nyx product foundations in but i'm not sure this is my color so let's see i'm just gonna place it on my face all over. Now this was a, ooh. Now this was a popular foundation. Everybody was talking about it a while ago, but I did not purchase it because I didn't need another foundation. My thing is, for me, since I don't wear a lot of makeup, I could only buy a foundation when I use one up. That's what I tell myself anyway. So let's see. Oh. Okay, here it is. I think this looks like my color. I don't know why um, I wasn't sure about it before. I don't know if um, that's because... I don't know. I forgot what the other makeup was that I had with them, um, foundation, but... Something about it at that time I didn't really care for. But this doesn't look too bad. Tell me what you guys think as far as the color match. I think it's a color for me. 
because when I bought these, this one rather, I brought two others. And I am using the e.l.f. Um, powder brush. I love this brush. It's loose. I got to tighten it up. But So now the next thing I'm going to do is something with my non-existent, that's what I call them, eyebrows. Me and my eyebrows go through it, but I'm going to try to do a little something with them. I know I did... A video before and someone asked me if I could come a little closer. I'll try to do what I can, but I can't really promise what I'm going to try. See, these are the eyebrows that I have. So let me see what I can do with them now. I'm going to use this Ultra Brow Pomade. I've used it so many times. Um, dark brown. I'm going to try to... Um, list as much as I can as far as the products that I'm using. I'm gonna list it down below for you guys in case there's something you may be interested in. I may not list the brushes, but I'll definitely try to list the product. The brushes, I'll let you know. This is e.l.f. It's um a small angle brush. So this is what my eyebrows come out to look like. This one always comes out darker. I don't care what I do. This one always comes out darker. But sometimes this product here helps. It's the Build Up by NYX. And sometimes it makes it look a little bit even. Sometimes I don't even worry about it much. But I don't like the fact that that brow's always, this brow here is the darkest all the time. And then I'm going to use, of course, everybody uses the LA Girl Pro Conceal. What color is this here? Well, remember, I'm just going to try to list this stuff down below to show you what it is I'm using. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like before I fix them up. And then I usually use, if I can find it, this dirty little brush right here from Real Tuck, Tuck Techniques. I really love this little thing here. Okay, so here's my eyebrows. Now to me, looking at the screen, I don't like them. But I ain't gonna talk bad about them because... Like I said, me and my eyebrows, we go through it. And I really do mean that, but that's okay. So. And I just blended out the highlight I have there, but you still can see it, but that's okay. I'll tighten it up in a moment. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this product here and use it on my non-existent bro existing brows again. And it kind of makes it look like I got some hair there. See how that looks? I like that. All right, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I need to throw this away, but I haven't. You've seen this before. 
Yeah, I think this is the last time I'm going to use it because as you can see, look. I had this for a long time. I'm going to use this to prime my eye. And I'm going to use that same little Real Techniques brush here. Take it up. Okay, so now I'm going to put some eyeshadow on my eyes. I don't do anything fancy, you know. I mean, I don't really <laughs> know how to do so so fancy, but I keep it simple. But this palette I'm going to be using is from Urban Decay, and it's the Jean Michel Basquiat um, collaboration they did with um, his estate a long time ago. So here's the box. Yeah, really pretty, right? And cut all this off and put it in a nice frame if you want. I'm going to use the color Enigma here to set the eyeshadow. And I'm going to use this long, pretty mirror to look at. Let's see. Now, like I said, I know someone asked me before if I could um get a little closer. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try. But I'm just putting it all over my lid, the color Enigma. Let me swatch it for you. I like Urban Decay's um, eyeshadows a lot. Not for sale. That's the color there. I'm going to take that color there. I'm going to use their brush. And I'm just going to place it into my crease. Let me swatch it because I want to know more about what it looks like. You know, it comes out a little different than it looks in the pan. Can you see that? Am I giving you a good swatch? Hmm, really pretty. All right, so. I'm just going to place this now I'm just putting it a little bit above my crease and then I'm gonna buff it out it's pretty okay this is a brush from Morphe. Morphe. Okay. This feels better. Okay, so now I'm going to take this color here. This one is Sucker Punch. Yeah, this color here, Sucker Punch. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, okay. Very dark brown. I'm going to take that with their brush, the other side, the little crease side. I'm just going to dab here, and then I'm going to put it into my crease here. I'm just going to put it up a little bit above my crease because I have a hooded eye. So I'm just going to put it up above because I want the color to show when my eyes are open. Now I'm going to use a smaller crease brush. And this one is also from Morphe. And I'm just going to use that to blend out that darker shade.
And then I'm going to put one of these colors in my, on well, my eyeball. Which one? I think I'm just going to go for, I think that's infinite influence. Oopsie. Well, I was kind of close. I'm going to go for the influence here. And I'm going to swatch that. Ooh, okay, see. That's influence. So I'm gonna place influence on my eyelid. I'm gonna use this small brush. It's a brush by Morphe. You can see it's really, really small. The only reason why is because um I put some color in my outer crease here. Out of V, out of V, out of out of V. So I'm gonna put some more back, but I just want to put a little. Just a little bit here. With this color here, I see if I wanted to. I could wet the brush for more color payoff, but it's cool with me. I don't have to have a loud color. I like it because it's really like natural. Like, I mean, I don't think any makeup is natural, but it's just soft. So I like it. Take that small brush that I had before and just blend. The darker color, which was what? Sucker Punch, so that that gold won't be so harsh to line. And just a little bit here. Anytime you lose any of the colors, you can always put them back, but. the same brush that I used for the um, shade above my crease. And you know, whenever I use this here, I always have a tendency, for whatever reason, to take most of it off my face. But I'm going to try not to do that today. I don't know. It's like I put the makeup on and I will rub half of it, blend most of it <laughs> off my face. I'm going to use this blender here. I'm not sure where I got this from, but you see it's dirty as heck. And it shouldn't be. But I don't know if I got this. I think I got this from Amazon, I think. I'm just going to... I mean, you can if you want, but I'm not going to um, wet it. I'm just going to kind of try to blend it out and try to be careful not to take it off my face. This one here, this is Fawn. I think this is the same one I used. I don't even check to see which one I used. Oh, I didn't realize I had two of them out. And this I'm going to use to highlight. Ooh.
Okay, so I have this on my face. And now what I'm going to do with the highlight, I am going to wet the same um, sponge that I have. Again, I think this is from, well, it could be from Miss A. It's from one of those places, Amazon or Miss A. So I'm going to spray the... I believe some people let their highlight sit on their face for a moment. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't think there's any rules because I hate buffing out concealer for a highlight. I don't know if there's something I just don't like doing. Okay, cute people, I am finally finished buffing out this highlight. I hope I did a good job because looking at my mirror and my blind self, it says that I did. If I did not pull my coattail, pull my coattail, did I miss a spot? Am I showing any harsh lines? Because trust me when I tell you, I buffed and I buffed and I buffed. And I think, and I hope I didn't buff too much over here because it looks like it's still kind of dark, but we just going to be moving on. All right. So now when I do all that, then I use this here. I've had this powder for the longest and no, I have not. Well, I've bought other ones, but I use this one all the time and it's from Nika K. Okay. And get a little bit in the cap. Use this little, I got this from um, NYX. I had it a good while. So I'm just going to So I'm going to use it because I don't think I ever have it. Have I? I don't know. But here it is. And it got a big old mirror here. See the big old mirror, which is great. But here is the palette. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use the darkest shade, this one here. They don't have names, but I'm going to use the darkest shade. And I usually use this brush here from um, Sonia Kashik. Kushik, Kashik, to highlight. I don't know if this is a good color for me. Let's see. Mm I'm not sure I like this thing here. You know, and I got this because of Andrea Renee. I bought a lot of things because of Andrea Renee, but I gotta look back at that video that she used this product. Because when she talked about it, it was on sale on Alter. Or did I get this from? Yeah, on Alter's website. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and try this. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Okay, let me get under here my chin. Now I want to use, I'm going to use this little brush here that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to um, contour my nose. Just a little bit here. black radiance it says soft focus on it but you don't see that so i'm going to use this here to help me um i'm going to use this sonia kushik kasha kushik um i'm not sure what brush um and i'm just going to use it to wipe off some of the 
and I mean very, very finely. I'm just gonna use it to help me brush off. And you know, the thing is, this is not what I normally use. Let me use what I normally would use. Elf. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to use this as a highlight. And to highlight on me face, me going to use, um, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try. No, nope, that doesn't do much of anything. I'm going to go with um Sonia Kashuk. This brush is pretty good. So I'm going to use this brush here. I'm going to go down my nose. What? Easy, breezy, every day. We just got somewhere to do, somewhere to go, and it ain't gonna be far from the house. Okay, so now I need to put on a blush. I think I'm gonna put on this blush palette I have from Perfusion that I do use. But I'm not sure. It, like I said, this is definitely, um, as you can see, very neutral. But I'm going to use it and I'm going to apply it with um, a Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm going to go with this color right here, which is Confession. It's really, really light. You probably won't even see it. You can't see it. Can you see it? I think you can. Let's see. So, I have these lashes here from NYX. I've had these a long time. Um, I've worn them before, and I hope I washed the glue off. Because if I did, great. If I didn't, oops. This is a LA Colors glue that came with something, I'm sure. Um, most likely some eyelashes from LA colors, I would think. And I got a feeling I need to throw it away. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm gonna... Ooh, well, it has a little, it has a little bit of some here. Let me work it out and I'll be back. Okay, now I should be ashamed of myself because I got these lashes hanging on by a thread because that little glue thing that I was using is horrible. And it's time for me to throw it in the garbage. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but I sure did use it. I didn't even get my behind up to go get another lash glue. So, um, yeah, this is what my lashes look like. Mm, I'm not even going to show y'all because mm -hmm, I twerked it out. So now what I'm going to use now um, would be some lip products. One of them I've had for a long time and I never ever use. So I'm going to use it for the first time today. But before that, I do want to use the Dewy Finish Spray and Set It Spray by um, NYX. So I'm going to use this all over my face and I should have put it on before I put my lashes on because my lashes just may fall off my face but we'll see how that works out so Whee! okay so let's see this lip color it's by wet and wild like I said I had it for a long time and as you can probably tell I'm take just taking the plastic off 
Um, I bought the whole line. I, I think at one point, I don't know if it's still true, it was exclusive at Walgreens. See? But as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to throw that in the garage. Because if I was going out in the street, I should be ashamed of myself to put these lashes on. Uh, but if I go out, I'll take the lashes off. It's just a sort of scare, which is what I should do. But it's just that I wanted to have a really nice, complete look. Now, this is um, Purple Rain, just a little bit. I didn't put it all completely over my lips. But I like Purple Rain by NYX. And then I'm going to use this color here, which this color here is called, and again, it's from Wet n Wild, is Blackberry Brook. And like I said, I know it was once exclusive to Walgreens. Well, sold at Walgreens. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen them in, uh, like, where is that store? Walmart. Ooh. Mmm. Okay. I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now let me line my lip a little bit here. I'm gonna be careful because I don't know you're not. Ooh. Now, what I should have done, I want to be careful of how I place the lipstick because I don't want to have to use any concealer. Ooh, I like this color. Okay, so this is my look so far, but I'm going to do something with my hair. Uh, most likely, like I said, since I'm lazy with it, I did detangle it yesterday. I need to be washing it today, but I'm making a video and talking to you guys, so I can't do all those things um, <laughs> in one day. But anyway, let me do something with my hair, and I'll be back, and then we'll see how I'm looking. Okay, cute people, so this is me in the final product. This is what I come to look like. Hopefully, you guys had fun with me because whenever I get on camera, no matter what it is I do, I always have fun. If I don't have or do anything else, I always have fun. And y'all know, I just like to play in makeup. I am not an expert. I don't pretend to be. I make mistakes, and I'm okay with that. My makeup is never, ever perfect, but it be cute. <laughs> so, um, hopefully you guys picked up something that you like. I don't care whether it was a shade of this lipstick, um, the, the foundation on my face here. Like I mentioned, if you see anything, because again, I can barely see y'all right now because I don't have my glasses on. But I just want you to see what the finished product look like. looks like. My hair is barely put together. This um, wrap is barely put together. I got swatches everywhere, but it don't matter because I had fun and I like the palette. The palette gave me the look that I was looking for, which is minimal makeup for your grandma. That's what I'll name it. Minimal makeup for your grandma. Because I am a grandma. Yes. And this is what I look like. So, hopefully you guys have some um, critiques for me. I know this video is probably long because I really did want to talk today. Um, but, yeah. But this is the makeup and this is what it looks like. My head wrap. Just a little thing I got from, I believe, Walmart, I think. You know where they have the black hair accessories? <laughs> yeah, I think I got it from there. But let me put my glasses on so I can see y'all real quick. Because I don't really know what I really look like. Because in the mirror, I look okay. All right, I think I look all right. I ain't, I ain't complaining too bad except for these lashes. <laughs> yes, I'm going to pull those off. Oh, my goodness. One is falling off. And I got to find my glue. 
Okay, I'm gonna leave it because I'm gonna um, take a picture real quick. Yeah. But listen, cute people, I'm gonna end this video now because I need to take these lashes off and find me something to eat and find out who's cooking dinner because it ain't me. Yeah. So I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Have fun with me. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to do another one of these videos really soon. Real, real, really soon. Because they're always fun to do. And um, yeah, if you have any tips and tricks for me as a blind old lady, share them down below. But I want you guys to do nothing but share and spread love. Do all that while you're watching and subscribing to this channel.